I'm getting really tired of comments like this. What is it with the older generation? And so what I was going to say is even if you don't necessarily agree with someone 100%, you should follow them because you should have your viewpoints challenged and that's how you learn. I used to be very much a... I think one thing that a lot of people fail to realize, you know, as I mentioned, I don't agree with a lot of the very far left stuff. I mean, I can still love you as a person, but I'm okay to challenging myself and having my beliefs be challenged. I've had Benny on the right do it. I live in Georgia, um, where I live as a blue dot and a Gwinnett, so we're a little blue dot and a red sea of shit. But, you know, I'm fine with it being challenged. A lot of things that I didn't agree with now, then I agree with now, like unions. I'm very pro-union now. From, you know why? I lost two jobs at no fault of my own this year. No fault of my own. This year. So, yeah, I believe in protecting workers' rights. I'm still educating myself and I would love resources on that. But yeah, I'm back to being fully self-employed and being an independent contractor, which I enjoy. Um, but I do believe in treating your workers with decency and respect. I'm very heavily considering not publishing any more books on Amazon because I don't agree with how they treat their workers and I don't really use them a lot to begin with. And I think the big thing too is we have these experiences for a reason. People, I was always pro-choice because I don't believe in the government telling people to do. On top of being an openly bisexual woman, I was always an advocate to the gay community because one, those were the only men I felt safe around growing up. Um, besides my, some of my family members who are just awesome people. But yeah, besides some people in my family and gay men, I did not feel safe around a lot of men growing up. And the other thing too is that I don't believe it's the government's place to tell people who to marry, what they can do with their bedroom, what they can do with their body. So the reason why I used to support the Republicans and the Libertarians was because that was the party of limited government. However, I've learned that it's turned into something very different, which is the parties where, you know, the Democrats are probably going to go after your money more, which is fine at this point. Like, I don't even care. <laughs> and the uh, Republicans are going to go into your bedroom, which I have a big problem with. You can, you know, when it comes to stuff like the economy, like it's important, but honestly, when it comes to just treating people with dignity and respect, which what I've found is that the Democrats tend to do a better job and have a better track record from my life experience. I live in a red state. I lived in red states my whole life. 